I'm going to tie a fly today on a Daiichi 1720 size 4 hook with a down eye. If you can't find this hook, TMCO makes a TMC 3761 that'll work pretty well. We're going to put down a little thread here for a base. Then we're going to wrap some 030 lead wire around the hook as well so we can get down to the fish and current. However, when fishing silver salmon in slack water, you'll want to use thin strips of cork in place of this lead to create some buoyancy, but only float the fly for a few seconds. Leave enough room for the eyes. Wrapping this lead around here is the main key to getting down to where the fish are. The eyes help too, but it's not the full equation. In most cases, I have a best luck with a sink line that's about 250 grains, and I only like a leader about six foot, 12 pound test, ma uh, maximum alter green. This is a pattern I call Christmas candy. We're going to start out with some of this silver flashaboo for our tail, body, and part of the wing. Make, make sure and wrap your body down real good with some thread before you put these eyes on. Just wrap a nice figure eight pattern until the eyes feel firm. And then just glue the heck out of the body. This is what's going to make it durable. And then the fly will catch fish after fish without coming apart. I'm also going to use a little bit of this cement thinner to get it to penetrate down in there and just normal head cement. Now I'm just going to wrap this flashaboo around here for a body right into that wet cement. Here again, another durability factor. Fish after fish after fish without your fly coming apart. By using one continuous piece of material on this fly, keeps me from having to cut it off and rehook stuff up and I do have a little extra there for later make sure you get this wing to lay down by pulling back a little water over this marabou helps helps it be manageable while you're tying it on notice I tied it in front of the eyes as well as behind the eyes the marabou that is that's so I can pull it back over the top here and uh, give it a little color between the eyes now you can cut off that excess there or leave it um, I like to just sometimes make a little head notch behind the head there kind of looks like a rooster's lid but anyway there you go, Christmas candy. This is a very effective pattern for salmon and steelhead. You can tie the same pattern in various color combinations. I like silver and chartreuse, silver and pink, things of that nature for your sunny days. Gold and black is my favorite combination for cloudy days. This here is one I call the light switch. This is one hot fly for clear water and sunny days. Remember, these heavier flies are for current. If you're going to fish the slack water, use the cork method I talked about and forget about the eyes. Don't use them. Guys, you will not believe what this looks like under the water. Putting that rubber egg about an inch in front of that fly, when you twitch it, it looks like that fly is pecking that egg and it bounces around and makes the weirdest looking little presentation. Now if you put a little blood knot in your line right where that egg's gonna go and leave the tails hang off a little bit so that it holds it there and just slide that egg right down over that blood knot you will be amazed how cool that looks underwater. In very calm water or slack pools Silvers can also be caught on f stacked deer hair flies like these here. With the flies like the light switch, 
or Christmas candy um, without the eyes and cork in place of the lead. That fly will float when you first throw it out there. But then you give it a little pop and it'll come under the water about an inch and just let it hover. Just throw it about five feet from a fish you can see and just let it hover there. And as it starts to slowly sink out of his presentation zone, you give it one more little twitch and it'll hang again. And they're going to take it on that hang time. <laughs>